Nine-month-old Lian Kiprotich lies at Getrud's hospital recuperating from a cleft palate corrective surgery. The relief on Judith Chepkogay's face, a testimony that it is possible to correct this malformation. Lian is a recipient of Smile Train International that offers free constructive surgery for children born with cleft lip and or palate. Dr. Esten Joroge is in two to find out how Lian is doing. He is one of the lucky few children that have received the treatment. The saves patients from not only social ridicule and low self-esteem, but also complications that come with it, which include difficulty in eating, sleeping, or even breathing. In another part of the hospital, five-year-old Beatrice Anyosi is accompanied by her father all the way from Budalangi for doctor's review. She too was a beneficiary. She underwent a successful cleft lip surgery a few months back. <laughs> Esther has been at the helm of Smile Train International for the last eight years. She oversees over 30 countries in Africa in which many children and adults alike have benefited from corrective surgery. It's a cleft lip. There's a gap on the lip. And when it's a cleft palate, there's a gap in the roof of the mouth. We call it a hole in the roof of the mouth. And a child can have either a cleft lip or a cleft palate or both cleft lip and cleft palate. 1,300 children in Kenya are born annually with this malformation, an alarming number, yet nothing specific is attributed to it. But there are risk factors, and these are things that if the mother is exposed to them, it could cause a cleft lip or cleft palate. And some of them are exposure to environmental toxins like pesticides, lead, uh, paint. Uh, it can also be exposure to smoking if the mother is smoking while pregnant taking alcohol while pregnant and another one is lack of when the nutrition of the mother is not good so the mother is not having the micronutrients like a good example is folic acid very early in the pregnancy being in charge of a continent where both cultural and religious beliefs are deeply rooted trying to get help to those that need it has been an uphill task most of them will tell you the cost when i was told how much it would cost i could not afford and because our program is free then they are able to bring the patients at that point others will tell you i did not know i was told it's a curse or uh, something bad happened that's why i my child is like this and there are many myths and misconceptions esther works with a lean team of four staff members whose task is to identify patients in need of cleft repair in the continent whose needs are met by local surgeons trained specifically to meet this need it's a life change this is a child who would not have gone to school they would not have socialized they would not have lived a normal life and yet immediately they come out and they're so different some of them when when we treat adults they tell me now nah, i have to go get a new id because i'm a different person after earning a degree in medicine esther worked as a government doctor until she interacted with a cleft lip patient and chose to specialize in ensuring that such patients get the necessary treatment a chance smile train international has given her when i interact with these mothers it's a piece of me i go home with a piece of them with me i go home carrying their stories with me Years on, they are sending me messages of encouragement and telling me, keep doing what you're doing. That is something that I could not get in any other space. That's why I'm here. <laughs> For Women in Power, my name.